Magic Mike Plania will be returning to action on November 20 against Ricardo Nunes of Panama. The bout will be held in Miami, Florida. It is scheduled for eight rounds. Dennis, kung matatandaan natin last year ay tinalo ni Mike Plania ang isang top prospect in the form of Joshua Greer Jr. It's a big win. But They have, you know, itong Sandman promotion, they have yet to ride on that momentum. I understand that they have to take an activity fight against Emmanuel Mogawa last April dito sa bansa natin. Now, Planya is in the same position because he is fighting a veteran with 41 fights, but Nunes hasn't won a fight since 2017 and has lost his last five fights, if I'm not mistaken. Are we looking at a case that, you know, it's better to have a fight than no fight at all? Without a doubt, uh, Nisi, because you have to consider din ang situation natin ngayon. Although, uh, nagkakaroon na tayo ng uh, konting leeway you know, with our movement, with activities, uh, overall. You know, uh, but uh, the pandemic still exists. Mm-hmm. Ano, uh, meron pa rin tayong uh, iniinda. No? So, maswerte ka na rin talaga no? if you get to uh, uh, fight no? in a card, especially for the likes of Mike Plania na whether he likes it or not, no? mm-hmm. hindi pa rin siya pang uh, main event. Ano? Mm-hmm. Uh, the only way for him to fight no? is for his uh, uh, promoters no? to include him no? in uh, major uh, events. Ano? Now, Uh, tama ka, no? He's coming off uh, a uh, huge win no? against uh, Joshua Greer, one of the top prospects at that time no? of uh, Top Rank Incorporated. No? So, kung ito na available, Ricardo Nunez, while uh, he's, been, uh, he's, had, he's, he's having actually a uh, losing streak, no? but this guy has fought the best uh, during his time. No? I remember he even fought uh, one of our very own, no? si Trian Francisco. Uh, in a title fight. No? So, veteran na ito. No? Uh, alam mo, yan ang isang dapat maintindihan ng mga uh, fight fans. Ano? Kahit na sabi mong losing streak no? ang isang boxer, pero kung dati naman niya world champion or dating world title challenger, ah. may hirap pa rin kalapan niya because the fighters like Ricardo Nunez, yan talaga wala ng takot yan. No? Hmm. Walang respeto yan sa mga katulad ni Mike Plania because still at the back of his mind, front and side Nothing Nunez will still believe oh. and Nunez will still believe that bata ka pa kaya kita kaya pa rin kita well Dennis Plania is number 4 in the WBO number 9 in the IBF if I'm, not mis- if I'm not mistaken number 15 in the WBC number 5 in the WBA do you think his position in those four rankings explains why His promoter and manager JC Manangkel is taking a slow burn approach with Planya. Alam mo, uh, it's good that you mentioned that. Ano? Uh-huh. Uh, JC Manangkel is a good friend of mine. I love uh-huh. that kid. I love the family. I love the brothers. Uh-huh. Pati yung mga kaibigan niya. I've known him for more than a decade. Uh, elementary pa lang ata yan. Nagpo-promote na yan. Eh, no? <laughs> When I got to meet him. Isa lang ang, if ever, no? uh, ah. he's, he's a very ideal manager, promoter. Uh, hindi ka lolokohin, hindi niya naman kailangan man loko. Isa lang talaga, ang, kung meron man akong pupunahin ha, kay JC Manangkin, ah. that is yung madali siyang uh, matempt no? to take on the best uh, fighters hmm. of the division ng kanyang mga yeah. boxers na kung tutuusin, up and coming pa lang. Pag may naghamon, pasok agad. Ano? Uh, I think this time ano, medyo pabor kay, kay, kay uh, Mike Plania uh, si Mike Plania no, na medyo magpahinug pa hasain pa yung kanyang konti so if his time will come no, isa na lang ang matitira dyan sa nabanggit natin ano? and that will be a perfect timing for Mike Plania so this is a good step for him no? take these uh, activities until such time na yung mga nabanggit natin mga star champions or superstar champions eh matira na lang eh nag-iisa. Speaking of yun nga, para ma-develop si Mike Plania, kung lalagyan mo ng timeline ito si Mike Plania, ilang taon ang ibibigay mo para mahubog siya and at the same time to prepare him for the top caliber boxers 
at 122 kasi meron Ryusuke Iwasawa, may Reish Alim, may Luis Neri and the likes. Uh, you know, the 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 fighters that you mentioned, you know, all of them are like Planya, no? challengers and uh, sinasabing uh, uh, probably mga fighters that will take the the places of these uh, current uh, champions, you know. Uh, so Nandun lang siya, si Mike Plania, parang uh, he's at the same level as these fighters. Ano? Uh, doon sa question mo about how long uh, should it take for Plania to finally uh, aim for a title, one year would be enough. At least three fights, three quality fights. That will prepare him well. Because one year from now, he'll only be 25. Actually, kung magchachaga pa nga, gawin mo ng 26. Ano? I remember... How Jerry Peñalosa was groomed to become a title challenger. Naging mandatory siya ng lahat ng mga boxing organizations until he got the opportunity to fight si uh, uh, Hiroshi Kawashima. No, as the mandatory challenger, he was I think 25, 26. Pero hinug na hinug na ano nangyari for the next 10 years to magal yung kanyang uh, uh, career. We're talking about uh, Jerry Peñalosa. So, uh-huh. if you want to be a long-time champion, especially in a division that's very tough, one to two years, bigyan pa si Mike Plania, and ang magiging uh, resulta niya would be he'll most likely become a long-time world champion. 